Welcome to another episode of Kiwi Skane Stories. Today we have Agnieszka Simchuk. How was that? Did I say it right? Perfect. Great. Awesome. Awesome. And she is a she's an entrepreneur. She is a designer. And her brand is called Anya. And we're going to learn all about that. She's a Kiwi Skane resident. And it's it's wonderful to have you with us. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Really good. Enjoying the sunshine and Kiwi skiing as always. <laughs> yes, this weather is amazing that we're getting right now. This is perfect walkable weather in our in, in the key. Take advantage, Kiwi skiers. Yeah, definitely. So part of what we like to do here in Kiwi Skiing Stories is get to know you and some of your background. And of course, we want to talk about Anya and to see what the inspiration behind that was and what it got you to start and how it what is it doing now? What the future looks like? Uh, but before we do that, tell us a little bit about your background. Where are you originally from? Um, I am originally from Poland. And I immigrated to the States with my parents in 83. Um, I then lived in the States for, for 15 years. Um, worked in Washington, D.C. and public relations and so on. And then I went back to Poland after the fall of communism and worked there for a little bit and stayed in Europe and then in Costa Rica for 20 years. And now I am back in the USA um, as of six years ago and the entire six years on the beautiful paradise of Kiwi Skane. <laughs> how did you come to be in Kiwi Skane? What, how did you discover our beautiful island? <laughs> um, I discovered it uh, when I was still living in Costa Rica and was about to move to Miami. Um, and I have a, a daughter. So, of course, the first thing you do is where are the good schools? And everyone in Costa Rica who knew people here in Miami said, you know, Kiwi Skane, Kiwi Skane. And um, all the research pointed that the, the best schools are in Kiwi Skane. She was in middle school at that moment. Um, and then we are lucky enough to also have Mast Academy once the middle school mm. finishes. So really, I came to Kiwi Skane without knowing how wonderful, beautiful it is. I only knew it had a really good school for my daughter and it was super safe. So um, that's why, that's how I was pointed to this beautiful place. Great, great. No, yeah, a lot of the stories are very similar. You know, people look for safe um, places to live close to where they are normally um, used to as well. A lot of Central America, a, a lot of South Americans, you know, South Florida is, is a natural place to to explore. And Kiwi Skin is, is really hard to miss once you start looking at Miami and, and, and great yeah. places to live. Um, so the design, what got you into design? What was that inspiration? Um, well, I think... I think I was born to design, <laughs> really, but I didn't have a chance to do that when I was little. But I do remember that um, I think my first memory, maybe I was three or four kindergarten. Um, I remember that we were given pieces of cloth and we made dresses for dolls, which was really like a piece of rectangle. You cut a hole in the middle and you put it on the doll and you wrapped it with a belt and like, that's what I want to do. Um, but life isn't that simple. So uh -huh. I did many different jobs. I, I had a yoga studio in, in, in Barcelona when I lived in Spain. I was also teaching um, uh, writing at a university also in Barcelona. So, so, you know, I did a lot, a lot of things, but um, I always wanted to design and I always did just as a hobby. And then finally, when I moved back to the States, and this is after um, separating um, from my, uh, my daughter's father, um, I decided, well, you know, maybe now it's time for me to, to really focus on doing what I always wanted to do. Um, so it's like, um, you know, like the second or third wind in your life when you say, okay, I, I really want to do what I always wanted to do. Are you still are you still doing yoga? I well, I am as as a student, and I also do it with friends. Um, so I I do have classes that I teach to my friends because I never want to lose that rhythm. And there's uh, a beauty in being a yoga student, uh -huh. but there's also a different beauty in teaching it. There's a different focus level that you need, a different state of meditation when you are 
teaching to other people. So it is something um, I love sharing and I do continue doing it. Yeah. Awesome. I ask because I'm looking here, I'm looking at my what's up and I don't know if you're familiar with Anna Toodle. Anna Toodle, uh, she is also a cave entrepreneur. She's always like religiously, she's always at the farmer's market at the Kiwi Skin Community Church Farmer's Market on Saturday selling pumpkin bread that she makes. Yes, I know her. Yes, of course ah. I know her. Yes. yes. So yes. recently she started um, her morning gratitude on Fridays. I don't know if she's doing it every Friday. I'm looking. I know about that. Ah, okay, great. You should, uh, I mean, it could be a place to to go. I, I've done, I've done a couple of her, I did, I did her first one to, okay. to kind of like to support, but it kind of like, it, it kicked off very well. And she's got quite a, a lot of people on her chat now. Um, and now she's incorporating all sorts of different people. There was a bowl lady that does the bowl. Uh, the, sound bowls. The sound bowls. They're amazing. So, I've done sessions of sound bowls as, you know, a, as a patient, you would say. I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I, so I don't know. Of, of the therapy and it's, it is something very different and it really as our body is made of water, these are vibrations that are mm. entering your body. So um, it is, sound bowls are amazing. And there's a lot of research too, that especially the Japanese have done a lot of research with water and sound. And don't quote me listeners, please, but there's something there about like water's ability to, to um, hold messages or something like that. And it takes different shapes depending on, on the vibrations. I don't know. But that's more for the side. But I know Toodle in the morning on Fridays, you know, if you want to try to teach people some yoga or if you want to participate, I don't know. I definitely want to participate. It doesn't work with my um, school schedule with my daughter. Um, so I have to wait until summer vacation to, to, be, to, have a, to be able to do it at that hour. Fair, fair. So Anya, your, your brand right so what what um how did it start how did Anya start um well like I said it it, it started with the fact that I was separating and mm. I said I finally want to do what I want to do and the first thing that kind of came to my mind is I'm, I'm going to do bags because I am fascinated with materials um and authentic materials so I'm I'm fascinated with leather you know for me to go leather buying, to go to different like districts and in, in Colombia, which is mainly where I would get my leather. It's like going to Disneyland for me. So I get very excited with seeing um, the parts that will go in and that's what inspires me. And that's kind of how this started. It started with bags. And I started with um, like with fairs, with art fairs at, at schools and so on. And it actually started in Costa Rica. And then when I moved to um, here to Kibi Skein, I really um, started making more of a business plan. So participating in trade shows, visiting shops with the, with the, with the bags that I already had. Um, so like I said, I'm really obsessed with materials, so it's, it, you know, be it leather, be it linen. I am the kind of person that, you know, if I see someone walking down the street and the fabric moves a certain way, I'm like, okay, that's wool or that's, that's a cashmere and cotton blend. And that's definitely linen. You know, I'm, that's the obsession that I have. And in today's world, we are very surrounded with a lot of synthetic fabrics. Um, so I, and I'm guess I'm very old fashioned that I still love the natural fibers and the things that, you know, our body is meant to be touched by. Um, so that's, that's kind of, that's the inspiration. So really the essence of, of the brand and what, um, I focus on is that it's, they're modern classics using classic fabrics and maybe classic styles, but there's something modern to it. So the modern part might be that the leather, the color of the leather, you know, like something that maybe we didn't do 50 years ago, but now incorporating like modern touches and the way it's finished possibly. So, so bags is your first item that you, that yes. you designed. What, what other items are you working on or are you selling? Okay, so now I'm, I, um, I started focusing on uh, developing sandals. Um, so like I said, modern classics are really kind of the, the essence 
of um, of the designs that I make. And so there's nothing, I do have something to show the audience and there's nothing more classic than an espadrille. So this is like Salvador Dali worthies in Spain. And, um, and that's what we're looking at. It's like a, a, a sandal. A sandal, a slide uh -huh. sandal. A slide sandal. Made uh -huh. of fabric with a knot on the upper. And so it is made um, with, Lily Pulitzer fabric, this particular one. So what I would like to talk about a little bit is we have on the website, we do have a few standard fabrics that these slides are made in, but you can customize and make it in any fabric that you would like. So you can send us your fabric that you'd like, and this can be made in any fabric. Um, well, that's cool. So I'm able to choose a fabric that I like or that I have, and I can either do I have options for me to pick from on the website for a custom sandal and I can send you something that I like? Is that, did I understand correctly? Both, both. both. Oh, so awesome. we, we do have some fabrics that you can, you can pick from that the sandals can be made of. So, so A, we have some already ready sandals uh -huh. on slides. Uh, B, you can choose a fabric that we have or C, you can send us a fabric of your own. And you can even send us an old shirt, an old skirt and recycle it because you love the fabric, but it doesn't fit anymore, for example. So you can take that fabric and you can make a sandal in it. Um, and I say, and, and this is for me, this is a perfect example of a modern classic, this particular style, because I like it. it's, sole. it's a super classic sole, but the upper is normally sewn on. The espadrilles is normally sewn on. This one is folded in. So it's a little bit of a different take on the classic espadrille sandal and then that that sole or that where the foot goes it's it's not it's made out of what is that made out of that is made out of jute which is basically string or hemp uh -huh. so if you kind of see hemp? and uh, originally like uh -huh, I can see. they uh -huh. were made without a, like we have a uh, rubber soling but uh -huh. originally long long time ago we we're talking like a hundred years ago um, they wouldn't necessarily have the rubber underneath. It would just be the the, the string or jute sole that you see here. And I do have like a couple of other models just to demonstrate yeah. the modern part. Yeah. Um, so we're also doing these okay. in leather. So this is like a glittery gold suede leather. And obviously the spikes are, are the edgy modern touch. And again, like that is folded in. And these are, these are perfect really to wear with jeans kind of in between weather but um also on a daily basis like with shorts with a skirt you just slide them on and and hop out to the store so they're, they're very kind of every day but you a classic um well, i should do it this way no or is it anya oh there we go yeah. okay yeah i, I like uh, uh -huh, go ahead no go ahead what were you going to say i was going to say i like the one with the spikes because i i grew up uh, in the dojo here in, in Sansi Roberts uh, martial arts school. And, you know, that's the first thing when I saw it, this is self-defense right here. You know, good, <laughs> these are- You take it off and you beat the people. You can, you can take it off or you could just do a nice, you know, roundhouse kick nice. or a front yeah. kick with that to hey. the face, you know, and self-defense 101 oh. guys. Look, if you are looking for a self-defense <laughs> sandal, I Anya has what you need. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> it may not be a line that I'm using on my website. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's, That's okay. okay. So this is this is another. And then um, it, it, this is kind of like a new development that I have at the moment. Uh, again, like I love classics and I love to modernize them. So I'm working on a wooden sole um, slide which is this one can also be used on a daily basis because it's not quite a very high heel. Um, and the, but, the top yeah. is made out of... Yeah, and it's... Um, the top, what is the top part? Oh, this? Call, uh -huh. The, the fabric? You, yeah. Well, this is, this is leather. Okay. And it is, so they're really like a, it, it's a clog, so it's very classic, a little bit modernized because you know, you don't, it's not the full clog. Mm. It's for Florida, really. It's resort wear. Um, and, and um, I like that resort wear. It's nailed with um, this particular one because it's black leather. Oops. Oh, 
it's kind of like going in and out. There we go. Oops. Yeah, no, we see you. We see you. We okay. see them. We see them. I see yeah. them. Um, so again, taking a classic sole and just modernizing it with the types of leather. And for example, this is the, this is your basic black leather, but we're also going to have this in metallic colors and different colors. Um, so it's again going to be up for being customized. The, the basic black or brown um, will be on our website, but then you will be able to, um, to also view different leathers and, and send it. And if you have an old leather jacket, you can also send it in to us and we can recycle that into a clog. I think that's pretty cool, being able to, to customize the, the, the clog or sandals or, yeah, I'm not familiar with all the terminologies for, for or the slides, as you mentioned, um, with your old clothes. That's cool. The recycling option is cool. The, I'm able to select some from your website or I can send you, um, or I can, I can send you a favorite a piece of cloth that I like and make sure Absolutely. you go. Absolutely. Awesome. Have fun. Yeah, you, it's kind of endless possibilities. <laughs> hey. So tell me, where can we find your, your, your products? Where are you distributing? How are you distributing your, your designs? So really currently, um, the best way is to, to order on the website, mm. which is Anya, the, how the name is spelled A-N-I-A -A, uh, collections, anyacollections.com. We'll make sure um, we add that to our to our show notes. And of course you could find the, the links in the in the comments. Go ahead. And I I also um, have them in a couple shops, Golden Bar, uh, which is in Coconut Grove, and I and I think they also, yes, they also have a Merrick Park outlet. Um, but really the next big step is that I I am opening a small retail space in a cooperative of, of independent designers. And it is um, in the building called River Landing. It is on Miami River. And it's, um, I, as you're driving towards the airport, there's a building where Hobby Lobby is. They have Hobby Lobby and Marshalls and so on. It's a big kind of modern building on the Miami River. So it's, it's very, very attractive space. Uh, Two hour free parking, so very convenient, right ah. in the building. Yeah, it's a I, new building. I'm always like looking for that. I love that when you have super convenient parking. Um, yeah. So they do, they do have that, and yeah, and actually the way I discovered this um, this retail space is because I was going to Hobby Lobby to to buy things um, for making things because that's what I do and it was right next to Hobby Lobby and I'm like oh my gosh you know um, independent designers capsules and so on and so that is in the works but as with the rest of the world due to COVID this is delayed a little bit it was supposed to be open a, a couple of weeks ago uh, but it is in the works so that is very very exciting um, news and uh, and the other way that um, I plan to distribute in the future is uh, I hope to partner with schools, with uh, PTSAs, the parent teachers um, associations. Um, they are always fundraising. So basically what I would like to do is to um, set up a distribution channel through their website so they can sell directly. And uh, a big chunk of the sales could go uh, back to the school basically. Um, so rather than me placing um, my designs in a shop and then the shop puts a margin up, it would be the parent teacher association that would put the margin up and those sales would go right back um, to the school. So that's another uh, future uh, distribution. And I also want to do um, happy hours. So, ah. <laughs> but basically what With it alcohol? is- With alcohol? Sorry? With alcohol? <laughs> hey, whatever you like. Why not? Why not? You can do whatever you like. You make your <laughs> happy hour as happy as you want it to be, which whatever way you like. But um, so the idea of that is really to recruit representatives um, where they would present the collection. Um, so so a, a woman invites her friends over as she would normally anyway. Gotcha. And then on a side to present the collection and to kind of explain that you can customize and, and, and her friends could order 
through her. And then, um, so would be that representative who would um, keep the, the sales margin. Um, so kind of, I guess, like a Mary Kay distribution. Um, and, you know, and, and you could just grow that and you can recruit other people as well uh, to do the sales. So those are um, the distribution channels that we're working on. So the current one is the website. Uh, we also have, I have an Instagram just to kind of see like what is, what, what is in development. So really I kind of have new developments, um, new shoe soles that I'm working on and things like that. And that's um, Anya Designs on Instagram. And then the next distribution will be the shop. And then I would like to work with schools and then hopefully recruit um, representatives as well. I like the representative idea. It reminds me of, of these business models of people that sell cleaning supplies or there's one with oils, like infusing oils into water with their, yeah. all these brands that you have catalogs and then you, there is this system where you can sell from home and then sell to, to friends and, and, and family and, and you develop your market, but it's a home-based operation. And then if your friend wants to sell too, and then there's like add, adding your, your, your products to, to that, it seems like a natural pairing. You can be like, oh, these are my oils and these are also some sandals that I'm also selling. I like that. Exactly. So it could be someone who already does these kinds of parties, this, these distribution. Yeah. I like that. And then the shared spaces for, for small startups. I think that's cool too. I think there's one in the Grove. I have to, I have to look into it. There's one in the Grove too. I remember walking by there's, you walk in there and there's all these little vendors, but it's not like separated spaces. It's like this, like you're walking into like this, like a regular shop. Um, and then certain there's different brands on the walls. You know. This is exactly how this shop is going to be. It's, oh, yeah. it's actually a huge space. I think it's like 4,000 square feet. Awesome. And it's this open gallery space. Uh, and one of the things that attracted me to it so much is I walked in and the, the ceilings are bare. So you, you get those in and um, there's um, track lighting and it looks like an art gallery. So I did ask the leasing agent, like, is this staying like that? And she's like, yes. I'm like, oh, that's wonderful. Because it really feels like you're walking into this open art gallery space. No, that, the, the building really, River Landing, it's super cool because you're going up and down escalators. It's all like open spaces. So it's sort of like Brickell City Center, but it's almost like even more open. It has mm -hmm. more levels. Um, awesome. So it's, it's really, really cool. It's, it's a very, very cool space. In fact, like I have other many other ideas that my head is racing to ahead of the, the shop that things that can be done, like events that can be done in those beautiful spaces. I think that's great. And then that's what we do as entrepreneurs. We try to find as many ways as possible. And, and of course, when you're starting, you're, you're saving your costs to invest, to focus more on design and other things. So it's totally natural. And, and I like it. I love it. So talking a little bit more about Key Biscayne, what is your favorite part of Key Biscayne? It's the nature here. Um, the fact that I can walk to the beach on a daily basis. Um, it's, it's just beautiful and peaceful, but we're, you know, a skip and a hop jump away from uh, a lot of action of the city, but it feels like, you know, what it's called a village. It's beautiful. I, I agree. It be, I being it. able to enjoy the key and, and it's peaceful and, and, and safe environment and, and, and calm. And then Miami's right there. You got Miami and then stone thrown away, Miami beach and then the Grove. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. And um, lastly, one more question before we wrap up, um, what is a perfect weekend for you um, here in the key? Um, well, it, it is, well, A, it is staying on the key. Oh, amen. <laughs> so, amen to that. I, I never want to leave. I do everything to avoid leaving the key. That I mean, there's wonderful things outside of the key too, but I, I really try to stay here. Um, I love to get in a walk on the beach. So um, Saturday morning or maybe late afternoon, I love to go on the beach and read. Uh, a Sunday ritual, I don't know if it's the best ritual, is to take a walk to the Ritz and have a glass of wine kind of before dinner time, actually. And um, 
just to kind of appreciate the beauty. But I would definitely say it is staying on the key. Um, lately, I've had an obsession of playing board games uh, with friends. So to have a nice like dinner party and then play like roomy, roomy cube or backgammon, that type of a thing. But really to kind of take it easy, you know? take it easy um but always really to be outside and especially with covid it's become so therapeutic because even if you do get covid you can still go outside obviously avoiding people and and, and keeping your distance but you can go outside and breathe in that salt air which is actually proven to be therapeutic and good for you um so <laughs> Got some messages right there. I think that's 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 the most important thing is to always get some time in outside every weekend. And of course, and then we have like these wonderful things like the farmers market. Um, so just they're great to they're great to walk in. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, thank you so much. It's been wonderful to have you on the show to learn about what you're doing with your designs and everyone, please make sure to check the, the show notes for the website if you're interested in any of her designs and, um, or just reach out to Agnieszka and let more. So thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks. It's been a pleasure.